the five pitfalls of property development. Number one, overestimating your sales. Worst thing you can ever do. You always underestimate your sales and you don't go off future value, you go off current value. There is a good opportunity for you to increase the value. Right now, you have to go off the current numbers. Uh, a lot of people stuff that up. Number two, finance. Get your finance in order. Uh, there are plenty of groups around that can do it uh, without too much of an issue. Uh, but at the end of the day, you have to be doing the right thing uh, and get the right finance in play because it can cost you a lot. Number three, costs. Making sure you're not getting fleeced. Uh, making sure you tender everything and getting your cost knuckled down ASAP. Uh, it's a big pitfall that a lot of people fall into where they over underestimate costs and overestimate sales. It's where a lot of people go bust. Um, it's the joy of the game. It, it works really well, but you've got to know how to work the system well. Uh, so it's just one of those things that you need to, to work through. Number four, getting the wrong investors in. This is a really key one um, because at the end of the day, most property developers either work with groups of people, um, whether it's family or friends or whatever, uh, to get a deal done. If you get the wrong person involved, like a business, uh, it's almost counterproductive. Um, you'll go backwards rather than go forwards. Uh, it's really, really imperative that you do get that right. And number five is making sure that you're doing what you love, all right? These things behind me, Whilst I didn't build these ones, these are the things I love. I find them really easy to do. You can see all the way down there. Um, they're light industrial warehouses, very, very easy to transact on. Uh, and it's just simply a matter of, you know, putting the pieces and of the puzzle together uh, for obvious reasons. And, and probably number six is making sure you get the right builder involved. Uh, it's very easy to go backwards at this point in time with the amount of builders who are going bust. Um, but these things behind me are just super simple. Land subdivisions are the same. Um, I just prefer these uh, just from a total preference of myself. Uh, they're just nice and simple to do. You find the land, um, you get them done relatively quickly and get them sold and move on. Uh, for me, it's a bit of a personal thing. And for you, it's just numbers. Um, you should make sure that you know your numbers really well. Uh, as I said, get the right builders involved, get the right consultants involved, get the right investors involved. That's a key one. Underestimate your sales figures, overestimate your costs. You'll have a successful development company all day long. It's relatively easy to work out. You will all have to go through the pitfalls of what happens with these things up front. Unfortunately, that's just the learning of the game. It's like going to university on uh, to be a, a heart, open heart, do open heart surgery. You've got to learn the hard ways before you can get the easy ways. If you want to know more, click on the links provided and come and talk to us on our King's Club webinars uh, where we will go through all the bits and pieces how you get involved uh, with things like this, being a sophisticated investor uh, along with an armchair developer and 100% of the profits are paid to you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.